Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about why Virgo leaves early, and yes, it does apply and pertain to the Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. And what I'm referring to as far as Virgo leaving early, I'll elaborate on this, it's really just about why they may depart uh, from our lives uh, earlier than others, uh, a lot of other suns on average, zodiac suns on average. Now, the thing about this is, Keep in mind that Virgo is a mutable sign, which of course suggests change ability, it's mutability, it's a vacillation. Uh, they're not, I don't see Virgo quite as changeable as Gemini though. Uh, Gemini is ruled by Mercury as well, of course, but they are an air sign. But Virgo can have certain change ability because they are uh, a mutable sign. They're, they're an earth sign as well, so they're a little bit more grounded uh, than Gemini. But Mercury is, uh, I mean, Virgo ruled by Mercury, and Mercury is associated with wind. So uh, Virgo at times may come and go, but they have a little more stability than uh, than Gemini. You look at uh, at Virgo, I mean, you have some uh, famous Virgos, sadly, that left early uh, in our lives. Now, Kobe Bryant is a Leo, Leo or Virgo son, depending on time of birth. I'm leaning more with Virgo. There is a uh, speculative, um, I guess you could say, time of birth that's rectified that was on Astro.com where, where they had uh, Kobe Bryant at Capricorn uh, rising. There was somebody that rectified uh, the chart and had has him at um, Capricorn Ascent, which would put his son in Virgo. Many of you may remember Kobe Bryant sadly perished due to a helicopter uh, accident. Now, River Phoenix, of course, was a, a famous actor. I believe his uh, son was in Virgo as well. And I think he had very early Virgo, which Kobe Bryant would have. Kobe Bryant would have a son at zero degrees Virgo if he, uh, if he actually was a uh, Virgo. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if I'm saying her name right, Amy Winehouse was, a, I believe, was a, uh, a son in Virgo as well. And I think she passed away uh, you know, very, at a relatively early point. I think she was a son in Virgo and Gemini ascendant. And you have uh, the, you have these, and a lot of this, I mean, in some cases with Virgo, remember that Virgo is the zodiac sign synonymous with health. So in some cases, it could be a debilitating illness that might take Vir Virgo out of our lives early. And don't get me wrong, Virgo can epitomize health. There's some Virgos that could actually go the opposite way and, and really live a longer life because they are, they can be pretty much in some extreme cases fanatical regarding their health. Now, another thing that people have to keep in mind is when you're talking about uh, Vir I want to say another person I want to say too before before I proceed further. Not a famous person, but my father was a, uh, a son in Gemini and Virgo ascendant, and he died at the age of uh, 38. Of uh, it was uh, he succumbed to Hodgkin's disease, internal uh, bleeding. And there's just something about you know, the signs Virgo and Gemini. It seems like especially that, that they leave. You know, a little bit earlier a lot than average, I think, in, in, in lives. I mean, because they, uh, because again, Virgo and Gemini ruled by Mercury, sadly, they come and go, uh, can often come and go like the wind. And uh, also had a friend I work with at a, at a retail store. He was a, he was a, a Gemini, son, Gemini sun and Virgo ascendant. You would think, like with Virgo rising, they're a little, you know, this still would modify the Gemini changeability with him and being punctual and more reliable. But the thing is, once we had separated from our place of business where we worked at, I didn't really see, hear much about him. He moved to another state, and I had encouraged him to stay in contact. Uh, and we stay in contact, and it just never happened. So. There's just something about Gemini and Virgo that actually will, will, will often dissipate into into thin air, basically, when uh, whether you want it to happen or not, and they they dissipate out of our lives for whatever uh, for for various reasons. Now, another thing too is that mutable signs are more, I would say, more vulnerable. To, to spontaneous or sudden elements of danger or disaster because they are considered weaker signs. They have more susceptibility and vulnerability to what I just described so to, to certain elements of tribulation or adversity because 
they, um, you know, for whatever reasons, whether it's something with their complexion or what have you, or this propensity to, toward worry, another, and, and sometimes that could wind up ending a life quicker if you're more susceptible to those elements and aspects. Now, uh, and also, too, Virgo is notorious for worrying. They could be known for incessant worrying, and worrying can, in some cases, can exacerbate physical pain and issues. And in some isolated cases, I believe that could lead to an earlier demise or, or departure, depending on what illness it is you have, what debilitation is actually taking place. I believe that's called psychosomatic, if I'm not mistaken, but you may want to look that up and confirm that online. But And now on the other side, I mean, Virgos, you know, can sometimes alienate other people. And don't get me wrong, Virgo is very, I mean... <laughs> proper in their manner they're often have good dispositions but everything but what I would call compulsive complaining may cause others to be alienated and sadly may drop Virgo like a bad habit in some cases I had a Virgo a son and I think likely he had a Virgo ascendant as well he came over to my house one day when I was um, it was very relatively young I mean this was like back in like you know around 1983 or 1984 or something and he uh, what he did was we had a plate you know we my mom served him um, you know some dinner and what he did was he ate all the all the carrots first before he ate anything else before the meat and I I asked him just inquired with him about that later and he said well maybe I just like the carrots and I didn't like the other stuff or something and you know it just there's certain there there's something about Virgo that could really what would ingrate on others nerves is that propensity proclivity toward the complaining toward the criticism toward being judgmental and that could unwittingly alienate others and then that that causes them to discard Virgo and say okay I don't want to be around you anymore find somebody else to complain at now and also on the other uh, I mean and it could very strongly exasperate others now I mean, Virgo is the kind of person that can come into a home and they'll they'll be the ones that will wipe the door hinge down because they'll they'll be because their powers it has something to do with their strong uh, powers of observation, but they just can't help but do things to make something a little bit cleaner if it's a, you know if it, if it's slightly dirty or something and that is or something just slightly out of place and people may be rebuffed and taken aback by that now. Another thing too is, is that on the other side of the coin, that remember that Virgo is very scrupulous. They're about being proper in good behavior. If Virgo suspects that they have some friend that is um, involved in some corruption or criminal activity or something nefarious, they may eradicate the connection because Virgo is the sign I would say of all the zodiac signs I know Sagittarius is connected with the law and Libra can have some connection has connection with the law and what's legal but when you talk about Virgo they like to be really proper about things really scrupulous and they don't want to have Virgos on average in contrast to the other zodiac signs like to have things to be again to be to be proper to be seen as scrupulous and somebody that is not uh, that's being ethical and following what they're supposed to follow working with parameters, doing what they're supposed to do and uh, and what's lawful and the thing about this is they often want to protect their uh, public image and reputation there was an interesting uh, something interesting I read about uh, Virgo rising person was Richard Nixon and many of you may have known he's a president that was involved in broad some water uh, gate scandal and I was reading in this book it was called the rising sign it was written by Jean Avery or Jean Avery I know if I'm saying her name right and basically she had stated he had gotten out of that relatively unscathed even <laughs> considering how serious the crime is and it's just something about Virgo people that even if they do get embroiled in some issue, something that might be illegal, they seem to have that tendency, that propensity more so than average, to get out of the situation looking better than most other zodiac signs on average, I would say. So, and another thing too is, 
it's not even always about what's corrupt, what will, will your wife Virgo will leave somebody. It's it could also be a simply an unhealthy existence. If somebody is involved, like say they're a habitual drinker or alcoholic, or they're living just a general unhealthy lifestyle, they don't want to be influenced by that necessarily. And if somebody's overly lethargic or they're not they're, they're really, they don't have a good work ethic. It's something where they will not want to be around that person. If they've established a connection with that person and that friend or what have you, the person, that relationship they're in with, uh, all of a sudden becomes more lackadaisical and doesn't want to do much, then Virgo may take off and extricate themselves from the situation. Um, I mean, if somebody's involved in drugs, uh, Virgo, uh, compared to the other zodiac signs on average, would leave quicker, I mean sooner than later. Remember that uh, the zodiac sign Pisces is the, the sign that's synonymous that is associated with drug and alcohol use in Virgo is the opposite sign, the antithesis. So you could see why they're on opposite ends of the zodiac uh, cell belt. So anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, everyone would say stay well.